Good evening, everyone. How are we all doing? Have we got audio? Have I actually pressed all the right buttons two weeks in a row or not? How is everyone tonight? Uh, happy Wednesday. Hope you're having a good week. So far, anyway. Mine has not been bad at all. Not been bad at all. We've got uh, some nice 20,000 litre bales in here. So... Uh, we're going to have a bit of work to do. We're going to wrap some of these. And uh, we've got another field of stuff here ready to pick up with our new baler. Nice to see you all. <laughs> Hi, Args. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be having a few days off? Um, yeah, if you remember last time out, we invested in this beast. And uh, I'm going to let you into a little secret. I don't really like it that much. The engine's too quiet, it doesn't work with course plate, um, so I may, I may uh, get rid of it and go for the SID modding one, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it just at this moment in time. The baler, however, I am going to keep for forever. It's amazing. So, so good. It's not that pretty either. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree with you. I think it was a panic buy when I saw it in classifieds. So I may go for the SID modding version. We'll see how we see how we get on today. See how much money we make with our silage overnight. Uh, I'm just going to bump it up to five times. Evening, Michael. Evening, everyone. There's too many of you now to say hello to every time, but. Uh, it's uh, it's good to have you all here on a Wednesday night. 65 viewers off the bat. That is uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think I am going to get rid of this. I am going to lose a bit of money on it, but actually, not masses because I did buy it second hand, and uh, I don't think it's a million miles off the price of the other one uh, when it all balances out. And I'd rather have a piece of kit that works for the farm rather than uh, hinders us. But in the interim, tractor has a nose only a mother could. Yeah, really, it's not. It's not the most beautiful tractor in the world, is it? Um, but we will bail all of this up. We are going to do a massive silage sell overnight uh, and bump up the coffers again. And we'll swap out this um, because I want to. Uh, I want to make sure it's working. Um, so, what are we going to talk about today? Did you see Sid Modding's doing um, uh, the 780 class in uh, yellow for FS22? That's interesting. Sell it for more than I got it for. Yeah, I think you're right. We're going to talk about ground textures. Yeah, we could do have a little chat about ground textures. What do we think about that today? I have to say, though, when I... Um, I've said this before, I think. When you get a, a giant's partner, they send out the information a day ahead of time so you can make content for if you want to and stuff like that. that that's how uh, you get your know, videos appearing literally minutes after they announce it on, uh, on the Farm Sim channels. But... Um, I saw it yesterday and it was it was titled Groundworks and I got super excited because Groundworks, I don't know what it is in the States, but Groundworks in the UK is basically kind of um, drainage, plumbing, like fixing uh, drains in the road and is, is excavation, small, small size excavation. And I thought, oh no, they're introducing like, you know, uh, digging, pipe laying, things like that into the game, drainage, something like that. Um, so yeah, when it was just ground, I was just like, <laughs> a little bit disappointed. I got really excited and then, yeah, it was just, uh, they're talking about actual, the ground. Um, although I did like the fact that the, that they've uh, admitted now that there is going to be different size bales. Uh, bales? Uh, um, boulders, rocks. So if you, uh, if you go in with a, with a big, um, subsoiler, You'll get bigger. Uh, you'll get bigger rocks coming up than you would if you uh, if you just cultivate it. So I thought that was quite a nice touch as well. Something a little bit different. 
but uh, nice new textures um, trying to work out what some of them are obviously some of them are pretty obvious but uh, yeah there's a few there's a few things in there that kind of were, were interesting wasn't there let's just drop this in here before we finish that bailing off but it's uh, it's all adding to it isn't it it's all adding to it Evening, Peter. How are we doing? So let's get this baling done. I was going to do some of this as hay. We do need some hay, actually. So actually, I should probably ted some of this. So what I'll do is maybe I'll maybe I'll do a lap our next bale out, and then we'll do the rest of the field as hay because we do have a little bit of a we do have a little bit of a, a, a gap in our hay requirements four horses now as well so they're going to consume stuff a little bit quicker than uh, maybe we've used hay in the past and it's the one we've got the least of in the shed as well so uh, we'll be practical about what we do here I think as much as I would just like to sell all of this as silage and make an, a pretty penny we'll be sensible I think the game is coming along very well yes Echo Kid totally agree See if I can do this without starting on one percent of the next bale as well. Yeah, one. Ninety-seven. Ninety-eight. Ninety-nine. Yeah. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. So we'll end up with one more bale of uh, one more bale of grass, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah, listen to that, that that engine. It just doesn't work, does it? it? Had the potential to be so good that oh, it's crikey, there's a load of stuff over here as well. Might as well do this as well. How did I miss all that? It's ridiculous. Do they actually make up? This is yeah. This is a standard. That this is a. Uh, this is a legit um, pickup for big bales. They do do this. I know this is there's four uh, balers in this pack, all kind of the same. They're all uh, Agco balers, so they're just branded up differently. But they do work as a a solution for sure. Full 39% there. A chunk of stuff we missed there. Glad we didn't uh, lose that. Oh, we're always getting stuck on here as well. Apparently there is an 8-bit mode. Is that right, Alex? I haven't heard that. It's a good call, Ed. That was a good call. We'll do that. We'll go and get the... Uh, we'll go and get the Ted in out. Let's just turn all of this. Doesn't like hilly terrain. I noticed that. I was getting a few issues on uh, turns with it, but that's okay. We'll, we'll manage that. And you can't adjust the height of the uh, the pickup, the, the the pickup either, which is a bit annoying. Right, that'll do. Let's just right. I'm just going to park it here. There you go. Exactly what you were saying, bearded. See that? Lifting the wheels. Sometimes it's on corners. It's manageable though. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Right, let's leave that there for a second. Let's go and get the uh, the wind, not the wind rower, the tether. There's our uh, there's our seed drill. Looking forward to using that. I'm going to wait until I've got the new track to do that. 
Is that the standard Lime Green John Deere V8 tractor? It's it's a standard as it came with a mod. I've not tweaked the colours or anything, so um, yes, uh, just as it comes. It's just not. Uh, I had my head turned by a second-hand version. Grab this. Shouldn't take us too long to do this, I don't think. I am actually interested to see... I mean, I need, that baler needs 200 horsepower to work. There's 210 in this, I think. So, uh, technically, we should be able to pull it with the white. Um, but uh, we will see. I forget. I forgot how big this was. There we go. This will come in handy for the animals, so well worth doing. Alex Baxter, will livestock ever feature in future versions? I'm not sure what you're, what you're saying there, Alex. In future versions of, of the game? Do you mean more livestock? Or... Um, because there is livestock in FS19. Quite a lot of it as well. In fact, there's my big cow shed over there. So um, We haven't heard any news on FS22 yet uh, about what's coming livestock-wise. Um, we've seen a few images of cows and stuff, but nobody's there have been no new animal types confirmed or anything like that. Maybe we'll see goats or something like that. Shades, how's it going? Nice to see you. Well, it's not going to take as long to do this, is it? Which is good. Faster cows. The animations on the cows are, mu are much improved. We do like those. Donkeys. Horse-drawn stuff. Wouldn't it be brilliant if we did, like, proper vintage? Horse-drawn and steam. They're not going to, but it would be cool. It would be cool. The yeah, Amish farming. <laughs> that would be quite good, wouldn't it? Yeah, irrigation's a nice one, actually. That would be quite a good one. I like the idea of that. There is an irrigation mod already, isn't there? Obviously, I can't do Flint Hills now, because FS22 will be out. And Sorry, guys. Cruel and unusual. <laughs> Probably the best two words I've ever heard to describe Ox. <laughs> These fields feel so much bigger now, I don't know why. Jess Maffin will do it just to see me do it. Yeah, they probably would. They probably would. Lego Man Toy Guy, how are you? Nice to see you. As you can see, Farm Sim, Lego Farm Sim, and Argsy still, uh, still resplendent on the mic. They've not fallen off yet. Young animals, I think, would be a fun one. Definitely. Definitely think that there's potential in that, you know, carving and then rearing them before they go to the uh, to the other farm.
Josh Maggot, welcome. You made it to a stream. It's great to have you here. My uh, volume's quite low today. I feel like I'm. Uh, I feel like my sound level's too low. But we've got a massive stack of silage over there, and we have got quite a lot in the in the uh, TMR machine as well. So. I might even put some of those there in as well. Try and optimise the amount of money we've got. Hey, Lancy boys in the house. Good to have you here, mate. How's things? anybody hasn't had a chance yet you have to go and check out Lancey's uh, update to Western Australia it's really really good we making hay we are making hay geez five times moves quick I'm slightly worried I'm not going to get all these bales wrapped in time to get them into the BGA in time Oh man, nothing worse than a flu. Oh, good job it's not uh, the big C word though, that's good. A few more passes here and this will be done. I might actually leave the baling of this until we've uh, wrapped the other bales. Just because of time. Echo's got man flu. Oof. I tell you. Women tease us. They don't know. They don't know the pain and suffering of man flu. It's deadly, that stuff. We got a good uh, amount of bales off that other field. I thought we weren't going to get as many, but uh, it's looking good. Have I installed Windows 11 yet? I have not. Do you know what? I, I was doing a bit of reading up uh, yesterday, I think, on it, just to see what was what on it. Slightly paranoid of doing it, because literally my whole life is on this computer. And uh, I certainly wasn't going to do it uh, the day before or the day of a stream, because um, you can imagine how that might have gone. Um, so, but I, I, I'm, I'm interested. I'm going to give it a couple of weeks, I think, just to make sure there's no absolute, you know, huge flaws um, in it that are kind of be, going to be showstoppers. But I do like, I like the new interface. It does look, it does look pretty slick. So uh, it won't be too long, I'm sure, before I upgrade it. Maddie, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've uh, I've learnt the hard way with upgrades before. The excitement of doing it on day one, and uh, there's a few bugs in there that kind of cause trouble. So definitely let them let them do a couple of updates first. I always think that with new uh, with new software, though, you can have all the testing in the world, right? But it's not the same as having you know a million people testing it, or however many millions of people testing it. So, Stewie Gaming, how are you doing? Nice to see you. I have to say a big, big, big shout out to uh, Cranky, who sent me some quite splendid beer this week. Uh, very, very kind of you, sir. I have yet to open it, but uh, there is. Uh, it's sitting in the fridge, chilling. Just going to wait. Uh, wait for the right moment to crack it open. Do 
Jeez, running it five times is making me nervous. It's three o'clock already. Got some wrapping to do. Yeah, we were just saying, Ogs, that uh, we get grief for it, but actually women don't realise what a terrible, terrible ailment the man flu is. They'll never know. I see Maddie, Maddie rolling her eyes at the moment. <laughs> there we go. That was nice and easy. And then Adam, how's it going? <laughs> uh, what are you watching, Jacob? Oh, well, you know then, Maddie. You know we're not making it up when we are suffering miserably. There we go. Drop him off. I'm just going to grab the wrapper straight away, actually, and just get on with it. I was going to crack open a proof for the lives. Do you know what? If I'd been more organised, I would have done. Oh, sorry to hear that, Victor. I hope your family get well soon. Rattle through these. That combine camouflage, and she'd have a blue one. Used to have a blue one. It outgrew it. The farm outgrew it. It was a great, uh, it was a great combine, that. And I love the fact that it wound. Well, we've not seen Mercedes Man for a while, but I uh, love the fact that he got so wound up by it. Because apparently it wasn't a thing. Nothing else better than a man flu than a glass of whiskey. That's a renowned medicine up here, that is. Hot toddy. Whiskey, hot water and lemon juice, isn't it? And honey. I'm sure if you look back far enough in Argosy's history, he probably has got English blood in him. Because, uh, yeah, let's be honest. We got everywhere for a little while, didn't we? The British. Then, Rish, um, my specs are in the description, and if you Google my channel, I have a, I have actually got a video on my PC setup. Ah, uh, more squash, is that right, Ox? There you go. Josh is playing a bit of PV County while he's watching me bail. The joy of two monitors, right? be counting these. How many have I done? This would be number six. No one's land on Ed, uh, Xbox for Ed. Nice. Wait, 
wanted to see what Cranky says is the difference between IPA and EPA. I don't know either. Oh, Josh is running three. Can you hear the dog? Modding County Line for Fusion, nice. There you go, we'll answer. Legion's playing a bit of Western Australia. Which is brilliant, by the way. Go. Even a tray, how's it going, mate? Looks like Sarah Santos is falling asleep. Six ashes on the Steiger. This is good. It's nice hearing what all you lot are doing. Something fun about uh, watching a stream while you work, isn't it? Dog is now sitting on my pedals. Josh, hankering to play a 16 times map. Ever thought of doing a 16 times roundup? Um, I haven't, Josh. Um, glad to hear it, Args. Okay, so if you're wondering why my... Um, I'll just squash the dog's foot. Oops. Yeah, that serves it right. Installing windows. Landon with the $4.99 super chat. Thank you so much, my friend. That is incredibly kind of you. Love my videos. That is great to hear. Glad you do. Um, always nice to get uh, always nice to get positive feedback. So thank you very much. That's brilliant, mate. Trey's just putting out fires at work. Delta Junction, Peter's on. Nice. Matthew Strode, problem is with big maps is you only ever see a small corner. I, I, I agree. Do you know what you, the way to solve that, Matthew, is don't buy all your fields close to you. Adds a whole dimension if you stick uh, fields all over the map. I think Args and I are finding that with uh, West Texas. We stuck a couple of fields away from the farm and it's quite good to add a different dimension to it. Obviously you're travelling a bit, but it's quite good fun. Happens in real tractors too, and dogs with long tails. Yeah, I can imagine. She's oh, she's four months now, so she's um, she's now allowed bones. She's got her first bone today. She hasn't put it down for um, she hasn't put it down for about six hours, and it's not got any smaller. It's like a total assault on the senses, I think. Micah Price, thank you for the sub. Very kind of you. PMC Shelby Montana has been a fun 16. I am really interested in that actually. I might have a bit of fun with that. Um, it looks it looks actually really quite uh, looks quite good. I do love that kind of welk part of the world as well. Look at this doubler. What's going to happen here? What's it going to let us do? Uh, ditch is one good. So, uh, I think you know. It's fair to say that's a that's a good point, bearded. It is so difficult on such a big map to keep focus. But uh, I think Args did a phenomenal job on Western Australia. Um, and actually, that's one thing I'm going to do. Tomorrow night's vid is um, the course play bunker silo levelling uh, vid that I talked about at, that I would do after my uh, one last week. So that goes out tomorrow. And I'm going to do maybe a one-off vid in the future. I'm just going to try and do a completely automated end-to-end -end 
uh, silage. Um, so picking it out of the field, transporting it, and uh, leveling it in the, in the silos, all in one go, I think could be a could be a really good fun thing to do. Do you know what? I'll leave this just here. I'll just drive drive in circles in the field, yeah, without a care in the world. Robert Johnson, welcome, farm worker. Nice to see you. Feel free to jump on the Discord and get your uh, cred sorted for uh, the multiplayer if you want to join us on the map. Oh, look, there's another bale. Of course. What do I always do? Miss one. It is daunting, Kieran. You're not wrong. I think we know the rules, don't we? Never... Uh, Never work with children, animals, and course play on a live stream. So this will be another grass bale because we were nearly full. Oh, that's okay. Trying to avoid leaving too much of it on the field. Can you record that one on a live stream, please? I, well, I'm toying with doing it as a live stream, but I'm also thinking that. Uh, that is just a recipe for disaster. That's a good call, Aaron. Yeah. Can't be a good conveyor. Yeah. I think I'd get through that entire thing of beer that Cranky sent if I did it as a live stream. There's only one way that's going to end, it's not well. Kevin W, I need fuel? Not at all, Kevin, there's just under a quarter of a tank there. Get miles to go on that. I love doing that stuff on our lives, so, so do I, Bearded, but uh, it's not to say it always goes to plan, right? Is that a bail? Crikey. Exactly, set up with empty tank as well. Optimise the... Uh, Optimise the cell point, right? Nyan Reed, can I host the server with a 5 megabits upload? Absolutely. Shouldn't have any problems at all with that. Yeah, I think uh, maybe I will. I, I probably should do it as a live stream. It does feel like uh, live stream uh, material, doesn't it? It'd be quite a long life. It depends how big it is. I'm trying to work out what the best map to do it on. I'm trying to think of a good kind of grasslands map. I was thinking maybe Medicine Creek or. Um, no creek, maybe. Um, the fuel challenge again. There was no challenge, it was a doddle. Power to 8 is best, the 8650. That is, that's, that is what I'm... The 8960 is what, that's what I'm going to replace this with, is that. So if we can get 50k for this. 50 in the bank already. Won't interfere with us too much. <laughs> there you go, Cranky's Cranky's back with his uh, history of uh, history of booze lesson for IPA. Brewed from malt, burnt coke. Well, I meant to say, like, keep, I need to keep checking back and see if Maddie's uh, magic is going to work on the classifieds every hour. So let me just check. Let's make sure it's not in there. Nope. Good stuff. Gotta check back in a little bit. We're on five times, so it won't take too long to skip forward an hour, will it?
the DLC map. Erlengrat? No. No, it's going to be big machinery. It's going to be uh, volume. Tons of volume, I think. I'm an addict. <laughs> My name's FSG and I check the classifieds once an hour. It's been two hours since I last checked the classifieds. Come on, dog, get off my feet. <laughs> right, that's better. Lincoln Creek's not a bad one as well. Oh, the dog's really bugging me. <laughs> Literally chewing the accelerator pedal. Get off! Never work with dogs. I thought she was trying to set up a getaway car, she's trying to wedge the bone underneath the accelerator to leave it on so it can run it off a cliff or something. What if we will see Ford in FS20? Who knows, Kevin? Who knows? They always come up with a kind of uh, surprise, don't they, in terms of like a big ticket uh, new uh, new brand. I know it was, you know, obviously John Deere for 19, but then we've seen things like Versatile come out, just kind of almost subtly. Uh, which is quite good. Um, so there could be more to come. How different are these bale colours? saying, am I going to end up wrapping a hay bale? I can't wrap a hay bale anyway, can I? Forward Ag's in the house! He's back! Baling's quite a therapeutic one, isn't it? David Hay. Oh, stop saying I need fuel, people. I, the quarter of a tank here. Loads of fuel. Could run it for a week. Peace River. I don't do. Do we think Peace River is. Um, is that heavily grassed up there or is it predominantly crops? That might be too much. That would make me weep. Could be quite good fun, couldn't it? Driving on excellent. Hope there isn't a fuel crisis. Oh yeah, <laughs> when uh, gaming re uh, replicates life, right? PRBC, yeah, 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 okay, give that a go, maybe, flat alas, see, that's it. Fake news echo, kid. There is no fuel shortage. That's just the point. The, the media stirred up a frenzy. Wouldn't have been a problem. If people, like, the idiots decided to take over. <clears throat> There's people filling up fuel in carrier bags and stuff. Absolute nonsense. Montana map has no fences. Dieselberg as well, that's a good one, Gregory. Some good options here. Are you, Ed? Are you a driving instructor? Yeah. It's a J. 
joke. Honestly, the whole thing's been a joke. Just goes to show you kind of how selfish some people are. Yeah, I saw a brilliant meme actually in the week, uh, and it was it was somebody's bathroom absolutely stacked high with toilet rolls. Uh, but the quote underneath was, "I can see the idiots at the petrol station filling up their cars as we speak," and it was it was quite funny, quite like that. Jason Stanley, nice to see you here, mate. Nice to see you here. garbage can in the back of the truck. I know, honestly, you beg his belief, some people's levels of uh, stupidity just uh, belie belief, don't they? Kind of makes you want to weep a little bit. So there we go. There's no point in picking this up, really. We've just got 1% left in the bailable. That's worked out pretty well. We'll pick it up. Actually, can I switch this down? If I switch this down to four... No. That's a shame. Should have done that before it started. Can go up, but not down. Go. Now, the only thing with this is that you've got to manually fold it with your mouse. There we go. Bail's out. Oh, it's such a shame the uh, engine sound on this isn't isn't that good. I should probably go and just dump some other other engine sounds in it. Farm Sim Jim, how are you? Right, let's... Bathroom barter system. This is grass. I know that. There's another one around the corner as well, isn't it? We shall see. Matthew Hartlidge is driving this exact tractor right now, carting on a quarter over here in southwest Iowa. 15 acres per hour today. That is that's impressive, mate. Love I love a I love a real life farm story. It worked. I think this is the last one. Unless that's one down in the bottom corner there I might need to get. Yeah, I think the supply train problem is a post uh, post COVID thing, isn't it? All over the world, all wood, wood is a shortage and over in the UK. Kind of all the builders over here can't get anything done because uh, right. Let's see. Is this a uh, I think this is a grass one. Although getting close to it, maybe it doesn't look like. Can't tell now. No, definitely that's a grass one. Red River Farm, how are you doing? There we go. Right, let's go and pick this stuff up. There's our trailer actually. Fold this up. Let's get this back. We need to start getting those uh, bales in the BGA if we want this to tick over at midnight. There's our old cedar as well. We can sell that at some point. Now we've got the new big beast, so we can make some money out of that too. And we've got the the corn 
cedar over there, the planter. Might like to upgrade that at some point too. Um, what am I doing here? Right, let's leave that here. We'll get in the case. We'll get on the case. 120 watching, wow, I didn't even notice that. Awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Matthew, is there, a, is there a place to upload pictures to Discord? There is, Matthew. There's actually We've actually got a, a real-life farming uh, channel for exactly that stuff, posting uh, pictures of things like you in the fields work in the fields. So, uh, yeah, by all means, stick one up. I'd love to see it. Got an itchy nose. I don't know what uh, Maybe I'm allergic to the dog. I'll have to go. Forward Ag, great to see you, man. Happy blending. Appreciate you dropping by, dude. Right, so first things first, let's get these silage bales into the BGA. Please don't pick up any uh, of the hay bales. Oh, you're too kind, Jason. Too kind. Looking forward to seeing the updates as well. Forward. Well said, Peter. I wholeheartedly agree with that as well. Keep the country running, you boys. And girls. to be sexist I saw those today Josh yeah they look good they look good like nice old uh, love a bit of old equipment Nathan Emerson watching from Oz nice to have you here Nathan nice to have you here Nyan Reed, where am I from? I'm from the UK. I'm from the UK. S690 and S680. Down corner. I think it's been it's been bad over the whole of the Midwest struggling this this year, aren't they? With the the weather flattening the crops. There we go. What have we got now? One, two, three, four. Four there. Is that the last four? Yeah. We'll maybe uh, top it up with some from... Uh, oh, crikey, there's a... We always miss one, don't we? It's like the rule. First rule of uh, bale wrapping. Always miss. Right, let's run this over here. There's our unloader. See if we can get it in the right place. There we go. Ah, falling out. Go and grab a few more. Oh, nobody reminded me to check the classifieds. Oh, that's a nice little tractor too. Not powerful enough. Versatiles. The less said about those models, the better. Don't even know why I've still got it installed. You know, a farm sim streamer is for real when he knows that real life crops have been affected by weather. Yeah, I keep an eye on stuff. I keep an eye on stuff. hit the right button I can't believe I've left a bale and I've folded up the wrapper and everything it's so annoying that's so annoying right am I going to be bold enough to grab how many of these do we take some of these that are sitting 
Take care, Michael. Good luck with the exams, mate. Yeah, study hard. What we, we've almost got a full trailer. Right, do you know what? I am going to take those because I also know that uh, we can uh, we can make these quite quickly. And we're not using that much silage. Just barge the uh, Massey out of the way there. You know, there's still enough there for the BGA. Sorry, for the uh, TMR machine just for now. So that's not a problem. Just that one in front of the thing is a problem, though. I have to come and bring the loader and get that sorted. Go. No, they're all falling in. Of course they are. Problem with having uh, trying to stuff so many in one go, isn't it? See if we can balance them up there. Let's get our. Uh, there we go. This will be a big payday, actually. What's that? 28 bales? 20,000 litres of bale? That's, um, that's not an insignificant amount of silage. thought I was going to bring the trailer with me then as well. Josh, welcome, welcome. Farm manager, nice. Great to have you here as part of the team. If you want to play on the multiplayer, you're yeah, welcome to uh, get all the information off the Discord and we'll get you set up. There we go. burning through these pretty quick, which is good. Please don't roll back out. Stay! Oh, it's so close. That's what I'm doing here. There we go. Go. One more. And then we will... Uh... Do you know what? We're going to sort a few of the animals out. The horses are low on hay. And uh... oats. So we're going to give them a little bit of top up. Chickens need a feed as well. So we'll sort them out as well. Chickens are easy to feed, actually. In fact, we'll go and get the bucket. Where is the bucket? I think I left it up here, didn't I? Good stuff, Josh. Yeah, no, it is. There's a really good bunch of guys working on West Texas at the moment. They're like machines. They're on there for hours on end. up here. Oh, we should probably talk about, if you weren't in my, um, if you're not in my Discord, I announced something in my Discord before. I think I set it up. Let's see if I set it up right. Ta da Coming soon on the channel. A little bit of fun before uh, we all stop FS19-ing for uh, FS22. Um... Creators of the Field is not a new series. Um, it is going to be a competition. And we're going to use a uh, flat map. And I'm going to push it out to the community to come up with your own maps. 
create your own maps. Uh, it can be whatever you want it to be. Can't load this up now. I thought I could. Sure, I could. I have to put it in a trailer. Um, yeah, create your own map. However you want to do it. Um, give me a tour of it. However you want to display it. That can be a vid. That can be. Uh, Wheat. Do the chickens take wheat? I thought the chickens took barley. They take wheat. Um, so yes, um, design it however you want. Use whatever mods you want, um, and then you can you can either zip the whole thing up and send it to me with all the mods, or you can send screenshots or a vid. We're gonna n narrow it down um, to maybe a top five. Um, maybe use the help of my uh, use the help of my uh, admins to help me but we'll strip it down to uh, like a top five uh, and we'll do a little bit of a video reviewing all of them and we'll let you the community vote on which one you think is the best and we'll come up with a rather tasty little prize for it. I'm thinking maybe something like a like a steering wheel or something like that. Maybe a heavy equipment model or something as first prize. Something, something that make it worth a while. Um, so yeah. Could be a bit of fun. Doesn't have to be um, PC players only, Echo. Um, that's the reason I've used flat... Uh, I've um, gone for f um, the flat map. Because it's available on console as well. So... Um, and I'm looking for, I think I'm looking for creativity over what mods are on it, um, things like that. So uh, you're not limited because PCs have got more mods or different mods available. So um, I'd like to see it that way. I'd like to see, uh, I see just want to see what you can do with it. There's potential to be awesome. got the potential to be really good right um, there's hay in there isn't there let's go and get hay bale for the horses we don't have many oats and I think it might be easier to just buy some horse feed rather than plant a field just for a few oats because they don't eat that much so it might be the that might be the more pragmatic solution just to buy some because they really don't eat that much right a hay bale or two take care bearded all the best mate We'll see you soon. Any of you who don't know Bearded Gamer as well, go and check him out on Twitch. He does um, he does some cracking live streams over there. Uh, top bloke. So definitely worth a, worth a look. If you need your FS19 fix, is this grass or is this hay? We'll soon find out. Sure it's hay. Looks like hay. Evening, Keith. How are you? Uh, Caleb's here too. How are you doing, man? Nice to see you. <laughs> I think this is grass. Either that, or I've just filled it up. And the horses don't need... No, it would appear that is a grass bale. Which is no use to anybody. Probably tell by the colour actually. A couple of floaty bales there, hopefully they'll uh, fall down in a minute. What's this though? That's definitely grass. That's hay, though. 
There's a hay bale in there somewhere, I knew there was. Who needs straw as well? Pretty sure somebody needed straw. Um, the cows need straw, that's fine. Uh, horses also need some straw. And the chickens are dumb. Right, so we can do a straw bale and a hay bale here. We'll be... Have I had a chance to check out the new Alaska map Delta four times? Have they updated it, Keith? I saw it a while back when it came out, um, but I've not, I've not checked out if they've done any updates to it. It does. Um, it's a nice map. It didn't. If it's uh, if it's the same one and they've not done any major updates, so it didn't didn't quite float my boat. If I'm being just absolutely honest, it. Uh, it had some nice features, nice functionality on it, but uh, from a... I mean, what's what's going on here? What can I do with that? Just an average sim racer. Can you ask what animal mod view I'm using? You mean this? Uh, that's just the, the, the standard game mechanic. There we go, that worked. That's all it needed to do. Just the, yeah, that's just the standard game, any. Um, what am I doing? Straw. But I think the straw needs to be loose for the horses. I don't think you can do it in a bale. We haven't got a bale shredder. No, I think it came out... Um, I think it came out a few months ago, Keith, but yeah, it's relatively new. Just an average sim racer's got too, too used to the extended animal mod here. I can relate to that. Um, can we cut Can we cut round bales? I'm doing... yeah, we can. Good. Um, we're going to get the loader and unload this into the cow spot. Probably should do this. Um, oh, stop. Pressing the wrong buttons and everything. Tim Maslin, hello, mate. How are you doing? And Polar Bear as well. And Elite. Hello, guys. How are we all doing? Nice, nice busy stream tonight. Here we go. Be enough to keep the horses happy for a bit longer. That and a little bit of a uh, little bit of oat feed. Uh, I'm doing very well, thank you, Tim. Appreciate you asking. Yeah, no, it's been a good week so far. Can't complain. So we should be able to just dump this now, right in the middle of the horses here. Four grey horses. I did like. Uh, uh, he's not here tonight. Scott's suggestion of uh, naming the horses John, Ringo, Paul, and uh... oh my god, John, Ringo, Paul, and I haven't complete brain fade. Oh, if I forgot one of the names of the Beatles, that's an absolute travesty. George. Mr. Harrison, how could you forget? Thank you, people. Lennon is your dog's name. You're nice, Mark. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Old age is catching up with me fast. I tell you, I forget more stuff now than I ever used to. It's quite a worry. Okay, 
is quite a way. Oh, see, I'm doing that thing when you get in, you press the wrong button. Everything's. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, look, he's floating still. Right, have I done everything with the animals that I wanted to do? Straw for the cows. Right, yeah, we need to do a bit of that, and we need to do a bit of TMR in there, don't we? Right. Uh, we'll use the trailer there. So, it makes sense for us to get rid of these, um, these round bales that have sat in here for an eternity. So what we'll do... We'll go and get the... Uh, Straw Chopper, which is over here. Next Eggman, thank you very much. Much appreciated. The Zep. There we go. Let's open the back of this up. Load in some bales. You start worrying when you go to the animal deal fill up wagon with pigs, then you get to the animal yard and remember it was shit you wanted. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Kieran, welcome, farm worker. Welcome, mate. Thank you very much for that. Welcome, get yourself on that server. There is enough work to go around for sure. Grab a few of these. Can I get two? You're gonna let me get two. Oh, he is. I'll tell you what, the size of our sheds are taking a battering today. Taking a battering. Remember when we had a round baler? Seems like an eternity ago that. Squeeze another one in there, I think, and then another one top. I think we'll get all four of these in there, I think. Nice way to end the day. Crack it's seven o'clock. This five times speed thing is uh, is rapid. Thank you for the sub there. I can't read the name. It's so small. I should blow that up. But good to have you aboard. Oh, Nick Stegman's joined too. Crikey. A lot of new members tonight. That's great. That's great. Thank you, Josh. Take care. We'll see you again later, hopefully. Labour shortage. No, not here, mate. It's all systems go. No, you're supposed to stay in. It's the whole point of that tailgate, right? It's it's circular shape to let you put bales in it. I'm gonna have to cheat. Timorous, you are very kind, sir. Oh well, thanks, Nick. Like I said, we've got a, we've got a cra we've just overhauled our multiplayer server, and it's uh, it's going really, really well. It's kind of really engaged everybody. Big uh, big West Texas farm. Gave him a few bits of machinery and not much money. 
and they've taken it from there, which is great. Oh, there is a lot of manure there. That's going to go well for the... Uh, that's going to go well for the uh, greenhouses. That's something else we need to do as well, is go and top up the greenhouses. As soon as this is done. Farming Sim Frankly, nice to see you. How are you doing? There we go. Oh, it's just a bale finch. I thought it was a spuller. These are only standard four-time bales, so uh, four thousand litre bales. So uh, we may need a bit more than this. There we go. Got the magical floating bales. I'll even be a little bit sad if they fix some of the physics problems in FS22, right? Some of them make the game what it is. The uh, no, so this isn't. Oh, it is growing, but very slowly. Shows you how much uh, how much straw we need. There you go, I'm about half full. Bit of TMR for the cows after this. I'm not going to bother cleaning them, that's not going to make a big issue of a difference. So we'll not bother cleaning them until the next time we're through here. That'll do, I'll just run this straight across here. Pick up those hay bales at some point. Put them in the shed here. In fact, they probably go straight into the uh, tier mark. Hope we still have <laughs> helpers that end up in the lake on the other side of the map. So that's the point, isn't it, right? We know where they are. They'll always be in the lake somewhere, or behind, like halfway up a tree. Too much stuff in here. I want to that last uh, silage bale. I'm not going to waste that. So we'll quickly fix that. With the digger. Stuck on a fence, yeah. You don't even know how it's got there. Like the fence is going through the tractor. It's not even. Uh... It's not like physics are not possible. Oh, the lights are on. Of course, it's too far away to get. Of course it is. There we go. That's all we need to do. That was only an 8,000 litre bale. Alright, bit of TMR for the cows. And then we are done. Couple of trailer loads, I think. We don't need any more than that just now. Just enough to keep them topped up overnight. I think there's about 70 odd thousand litres in here still. But we do need to mix some more tomorrow at some point. Look at that. That's reversing of the highest standard, isn't it? <laughs> Hit with reversing if you want one, because I clearly know what I'm doing. 
Um, just do it really slowly. My, all my problems come from reversing too fast. Always. I'll put some lights on, it's getting dark. There you go. So we'll get these dumped, and then we will uh, zip forward time a bit, just see just how much money we're going to make. Better be a big payday. The grass fields will be ready again. You're right, they will. The wheel cranks. But actually, we're gonna we're gonna change them. They're gonna go back to I think corn. Uh, corn and barley on those two. And uh, we'll think about the, the, the two bigger fields up the top. What we're gonna do with those? Sunflowers. Somebody suggested. I think we're gonna put sunflowers in one of them for sure. And the big, big field, we're going to turn that into grass from a from a money spinner from a silage perspective, because that could be a, that could be a huge earner. Probably needs an investment in a bit more kit as well. Bit of an upgrade to the uh, the mower, because that little bat wing in that field would take forever. That's a good little tip, Kieran. No spuds. No spuds. Well, we could do a field of spuds, actually. I'm not against the field. The problem is... The, the, the cost of the equipment is prohibitive, right? Just because we can't lease stuff, so it kind of feels a bit annoying to do... a field full of spuds, and we end up shelling out 150 grand on the potato equipment that we're only going to use once. But I do like the idea of it. So maybe, maybe, further down the line. We shall see. Right, last load in here. Get him unloaded. See, cracky, there's so much. So much more we could put in there. Wow, time's flying when you're having fun. It's already 20 past 10. So we better get started with our cedar. Let's do some sugar beets. Oh, classifieds in a minute. Oh, did we check it at 7? Oh, look at that. That's a nice new addition. Thanks for the heads up there, Mark. Yeah, we'll hold fire until that's... Uh, until that's ready. Water. How are the cows doing for water? Did I top up their water? Yeah, that's pretty good. All that manure there as well. We should be taking that to the... Uh, we should be taking that to the... Um, the greenhouses. Why are you not turning on? A little bit further underneath it. Yeah, I don't think there's a full load there. We'll see. We'll just let it run anyway. Okay. Job's a good one. Did we leave the baler up the top of the field? We bring him back down to the yard, or not bother. We will, because we're just killing time until the. Uh... Yeah, there he is. Oh, I left the engine running. He had no fuel in him anyway, so we left the engine running. That's it for lights as well. There's another reason to get rid of it. It's only got headlights.
don't know where I'm going to put this baler either. It's too dark to do anything already. Somebody put in the comments this week, oh, your machinery is too big now, you need more sheds, which I kind of agree with as well. So that's something else we could probably look at in the next little while. Is what do we do with uh, what do we do with sheds? So what we're going to do? I'm just going to sell this now. I don't need this anymore, do I? Just whip this around here. We could pick up our new one straight away. Have it ready for the morning. Because let's be honest, it's not going to be available on classifieds. Or we could skip forward to the morning. Repair. Yes. Sixty-five thousand. That's pretty much what we bought for it, isn't it? Paid for it. Bought for it. Speak English, boy. There we go, 118 grand. 8 o'clock at night. Check classifieds. Must be combine season. A lot of combines in there. There you go. Potato harvester. Skip forward to... Oh, look. I'm being weird now. Nine o'clock. What's changed in there? I don't think anything's changed, has it? Oh, the John Deere went to the end. And, oh, and that's new. Some of these new tracks are quite good. I do love that as well. All right, skip forward again. Don't... Uh, don't judge me for doing... Oh, the Fiat. That's a great little tractor. 180 horsepower as well. Man, look at all these John Deere. Look at that. That's a new 40 series. A 31 grand for a 40 series. Too small. I've already got it. I've already got one of them. Don't need another one. But some good kit. That's good. There's always good kit for sale. So there we go. 1,200 a night now for, for horses. I forgot. We've got four. That's quite, uh, that's quite a lot. There you go. There's another one. 228 horsepower on that bad boy. A T8. That's not a bad price either. But not the tractor we want. Right. Let's skip forward now. Farmer Bart, welcome my friend. Farm work time. So the horses have been uh, paid. Let's see what this BGA is going to spit out for us. Quite a lot of decent sized bales in there. Come on, be good. Be good. As you can see, 214 grand. 214,000. Thank you very much. I will be taking that. Keep checking classifieds. Just in case. Oh, 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 oh. It's the big Steiger. It's the big Steiger. This is horrible with cosplay, though. It doesn't work with cosplay. Or I would get that because it's a good tractor. Mike Hansen, nice to see you. Oh, the Union. The old MB track. Look at that. Love that tractor. That's a total tractor of my youth, that. Total tractor of my youth. Oh, that's quite a nice little buy as well for 44,000. Just feel like a total wheeler dealer now. What have we got in here? Run 15 times. Don't go away until I've checked. A couple of old Fords. I mean, that's good. Not Just not powerful enough for what we need now. Sadly. Sadly, right, four in the morning. Why do I keep bringing the animals up and hitting the escape too many times? Oh. If we needed a combine. If we needed a combine. 5 a.m. This is good content, right? you got to do it, though. It's almost like it knows I like John Deere's. It's like, here, what about this John Deere? No. What about this one? No. What about this one? All right. 6 a.m. Sun starts to come up. And when the sun comes up, good things happen. Oh, that's a great case as well. We used that on, uh, uh, on our multiplayer. Me and Args. Still not what I want. You know what, I'm going to buy this, and then next time I check classified, it's going to be in there. You know that. You know that's going to happen. 
Hey, Scott, how's it going, man? Nice to see you. We were just talking before about naming the horses. Oh, look, 8650's in there again. That is what I bought last time. And that was a bad buy. But I think we sold it for almost what we paid for it, so I don't feel too bad about that. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Come on. Crack, it's all change. Combine stayed in there, right. We'll go till 9 a.m. and then we'll start work. Oh, because I would suggest that I always wait till after 9 before I go to work, but... What about the Challenger? Have you seen the price of the Challenger? It's extortionate. It's away now, anyway. Right, okay. We're going to pay full price then, aren't we? But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Have you noticed this with this, actually? If I go back here, look. 79999 At no point can I get that price for it. So the default price is... So even the wheel setup, there are no wheel setups at zero that back to no additional money. So uh, I don't think I need jewels, do I? Do I need jewels? Mitchell and jewels. Uh, 12 is a bit cheaper. It's just Trelleborg and Michelin's. Oh, we've got mitres too. They've got floaters. Oh. Not for that price, though. They haven't. I'm not going to spend that. They look too close to the. Uh... Oh, that's quite nice. Quite like that. We're on the 300 horsepower engine. Standard fuel tank. GPS. We've got to put GPS on it, haven't we? We've got to put a... Yeah, we can... We don't need a three-point hitch yet. So I'm okay with that. Dark tints. Let's just keep normal. What's version? Aussie's version. Additional front lights. No, what does that give us? Yes, and it's free. Well, I'll take that. Why has it gone up to 112 grand? Ah, GPS. GPS, what have we got here? Jewels without weights. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? Trips are 30 grand. There's a load of options with this, isn't there? Wow. Jewels with weights. Jewels. That. Is a nice tractor. Should we give it a go? What's the design colour? Let's just check that, shall we? Oh. Green. Green, green or green. Let's have it new. Let's have it new, shall we? 100 grand. Bosch. New toy. That's another new tractor. We're going mad with the money at the moment, aren't we? There we go. That is more like it. So when you find out you can't connect it. Right, it's 41% in here. So is that enough, or do we need to fill up the Grainos with uh, some uh, with some additional seed? Now we're to look at that. All is good in the world again. All is good in the world again. Oh, some logs there. The only thing this doesn't do is, is um, fertilise purely seeds, which is okay. Okay with that. Take care, Echo Kid. All the best, mate. Used colour makes it cheaper. Is that right, Alex? Oh well. I didn't. I, we had the money to spare. We wanted to be uh, splashing out a bit. Plowers up here. We've got a plough of the cornfield as well. 
because we'd uh, we'll get a lower yield if we don't. 19 is the top speed. That's how we roll. Literally how we roll. Yeah, got the slowest tractor. I did Arctic. It was uh, a little flawed, shall we say. Just a few elements didn't work with it. Terrible lighting, things like this is a lot nicer. It's a SID mod, right? So, of course, it's... Uh, it's good quality. So we'll start off with this 41% in here. And then we will uh, see how far it gets us. We already ploughed this field, so we will run around it. Get it started. Even in Grant, how are we doing? That's a much nicer engine note, though, isn't it? Grass. So we are planting grass in this field. There we go. This is going to be a massive, massive payday when it comes around. I hope. Definitely the 440, uh, the four, uh, 40 series is louder than this. It's quite loud, but it's not peaking as much as the 40 series does. Right, we've got a percent down already. We're definitely not going to get through the whole field. But there we go. It's a nice little seed of this. If you want it, it's in the... Uh, it's in the mod tub. mod. Nice mod indeed. And noise is better too. That sound is a lot more appealing on my ears. But the other thing we need to go and do uh, we'll do a lap of here, and before we go too much further, we'll go and check on our, um, our greenhouse and our tomatoes. Make sure that that doesn't need sorting out or topping up. And we've already filled the tractor with the manure, so we could run that down there, I suppose. Excellent, Matt. I'm looking forward to checking out those uh, checking out those picks. I love to see uh, real life farming picks going on. It fascinates me that you guys who are farming get to the end of the day and come in and fire up the computer and do more farming. That's brilliant. Like proper shows. If, if there was ever a, a evidence of people who do jobs because they love doing it, that's right there. Earl Wyatt, evening. How's it going? Nice to see you. This is quite a well-behaved little uh, seed of this planter. Oh, look. Another spare bale. What do I say? I always miss a bale. can I say Trey we just something, something nice about people who love their jobs technically what am I saying I'm doing no different am I right alright I'm playing games at the moment but making vids and editing and all of that stuff pretty much the same thing I don't need the sea bales mod mark I just need to not be a clown right and just remember how many bales I've bailed. (laughs) 
There you go, she's actually driving trucks after driving trucks. Oh, wait, you're looking for a machine that makes hay pellets on the go. Um, you want the straw harvest DLC. It's that pellet maker. You can run behind a tractor as long as you've got a trailer to unload it. That will do the job. Yep, yeah, prone one. That's the very one legion. This is a big field, isn't it? Look at that. A screenshot there. Oh. Oh, get rid of the HUD. things up before I get to the end of the road. Take care, Jan. Have a good night. Right. Okay. Bit of an overlap there. Do you know what, this is so big you can't actually zoom out any further to... Uh... Let's see how you're doing in alignment. There we go, that's a bit better. Oh, that come on. oh there we go, I don't know what happened before. Let me do it. Check the course play works with it as well. Which it does, that's handy. Oh, this is very chilled. Can't beat settling into a a big field. A few hours ahead. Auto drive should work as well. No bother at all. Obviously, it's a it's a hinged tractor, so it might have a few course play issues. But uh, once it's up and running, don't seem to have a problem. Well done, have a good evening mate, thanks for dropping by, much appreciated. You are very kind. ETX, I am well, how are you? What we'll do, we'll run back along the top and then we'll back down the other side. And then we will uh, probably set up a little GPS course. Oh, oh got it, thought I'd missed it. But also, uh, we'll go and check, like I said, we'll go and check the greenhouses. Just miss a row on the up and downs. ETX, is that tractor a mod? It is a very much so a mod, but it's available in the mod hub. It's all platforms, so if you're on console, you can get this as well, I think. Look at that, a little hideout there, I've not spotted that before. It's kind of cool. Yeah, you're right, Cranky, that definitely helps with the concertina tractor, doesn't it? I think, is it doing lands as an option, as it? Land 
lands as an option works as well. Jay Allenbert, thank you very much, mate. Very kind. Even as Sean, how's it going? FS22 soon, in seven weeks, in fact. But who's counting, right? Who's counting, other than all of us? Right, I said I would go and check the greenhouse, so we're going to do that. We'll get him lined up for his next pass, and uh, maybe pick up some seed as well. New puppy in two weeks, Cranky. I don't know what that feels like as well. Right, up to the... what's that? Tomat Greenhouse. It's got its own little icon. Oh dear, we're out of something. Seeds. Don't know how to get out of here now. Yes, I do. We are out of seed. So there's another reason why we should probably head up here and fill things up. Manure's doing okay. Chaff's doing okay. So, let's go to Global Companies. Look how much Global Company stuff we've got now. Tomato Greenhouse. Open the overview menu. Maximum. Only seven pallets because it's stopped, that's why. That's a bit annoying. And there's a little bit of whiskey over here too. I don't know how much came out of here in the end. I think there's a couple left. A whip it cranked. Oh, that'll be that'll be fun. Three uh three and a bit cases of whiskey. Sell these. I look like I'm losing weight. It's a stress of bull's gap, mate. I think I might be losing a bit of weight. I'm walking a dog three times a day. That's the difference from a few <laughs> from a few months ago. Come on, let's get you in there, shall we? You rogue guys. There we go. Got them all. Some more seed in a minute. What's our unload position on this? There it is. Does that version of your truck load pellet pallet? It does indeed. It loads anything. This. Even firewood. Right, let's see what this brings us in. Uh, I'm going to say 6,000. Oh, 6,017. How about that? How about that? Right, so let's go and get our truck. Truck. I said truck. Tractor. Get out of the way, cows. State the place. There we go. Legion, there's no need to shout, mate. Jeez. <laughs> that one was from Yes Mods. If you search for Ford 9000 on Yes Mods, uh, you'll find it. I actually think that the whiskey unload is the is the sell point. I don't know. It seems it seems to work fine with those tomatoes, right? Oh. Oh look, another rogue bale. Not like we've seen a few of them lying around, have we? Oh. Past the uh, roadworks, they're still going. I 
I do not, Mike. I do not have precision farming turned off for the, on for this map. Seven months, I know, right? Still not as cool as Jeepers Creepers. Is anything as cool as Jeepers Creepers, though, Chris? Is anything as cool as Jeepers Creepers? I should give it away at the end of the series, shouldn't I? Or when FS22, the actual mod that's been in the Bulls Gap series. We should have a competition and give that. Alright, I know you can download it from sites and stuff, but actually the one that's been in Bulls Gap. Just for a laugh. Own, a, own your own little piece of Bulls Gap. I could do it with all the mods, actually. Just copy it. That's the mod folder. That's the Bulls Gap mod folder. And that's the mod that was in the game. Yeah, farm sim NFT, exactly. But do an auction on it. Like a charity auction or something. That would be quite good, wouldn't it? Probably get knuckles wrapped by giants for selling mods. Yeah, Havoc's back. How are you doing, man? Nice to see you. Not seen you for a while. Been off wreaking havoc somewhere, have you? Havoc storm tracking and gaming. What? You're gonna have to give us. You're gonna have to elaborate on that. Alvaris, nice to see you. Oh, it's not quick, is it? It is not quick. Should probably buy a small, small truck or something, shouldn't I, to shift things like manure and uh, and seeds around? It, and if we're going to do this going forward, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm Slightly disappointed, Havoc, that you've not got a modded truck and you're chasing twisters all around the Midwest. Just say you are. Just say you are, just for fun. Hey, Fusion, how you doing, man? Nice to see you. Um, yeah, we, we were, that's, because we haven't looked in the classifieds for a while. Oh, it's still here. It is still here. This is worth buying, isn't it? This is totally worth buying for, uh, short runs and stuff. Look at that, like a nice 70s brown number. I'm down for that. Doesn't need GPS. Doesn't need to be new. Container. Right, I'm totally doing that. Totally doing that. Not sorry at all. Make it JD Green. <laughs> We've got enough JD Green in the game. So you can stay there. So seed, let's go and, let's just go and get it and fill up with seed. Man, I'm like money bags here, aren't I? Still got 166k in the bank. I'm going to keep a hold of that though. I am doing very well, Alvaris. I am doing very well. Does it need a little bit of an XML tweak, Mark? Yeah, I can see that heavily loaded being a little bit... Uh, I like it. Oh, look at that. Look at that padded interior as well. Nice. I feel like I'm in a boudoir. Right, let's get some seed in this. Farmer cop crashes it all the time. No comment. No comment. If that doesn't say 1970s, what does? Beautifully quilted interior. 
be some faux velvety material as well. 100% polyester. Evening lads, good afternoon to you. Well, it's nearly out of fuel this as well, but it doesn't need repairing, so that's good. Right, see if we can see if we can get some air through here. Yeehaw! No, almost. Fuzzy dice, yeah, they're coming. Right, let's pick up uh, what twenty thousand liters of seed should be enough, shouldn't it? Oh, let's try and get in the truck, right? Crash into the tomato shed. Corduroy, hey, there you go. Moulin Rouge, yeah. Have I tried the TLX 350? I have uh, 35, I haven't yet. Um, I have not. I'm going to have to have a nosy at that in the week. Talk among yourselves. This is great. This is this is actually a really sensible uh, investment. Come on, let's go. It smells like disco in the car. <laughs> a distinct smell of seventies disco. Stop at eight, that'll do. Bored away, that'll do, that'll keep us going for now. No worries, Fusion. And if any of you haven't yet seen Fusion's uh, realism survival series, roleplay series, it's well worth a watch. Properly enjoying it. Really good fun. Well thought out, great story. So uh, go check him out. And I'm too busy reading the chat. Alvaris, what do I think about Farming Simulator 22? I am quietly optimistic it's going to be a really good game. It'll take a bit of time for the mods to come through and things like that, but uh, I think it's going to be uh, I think it's going to be great. Nervous about this upcoming one? Don't be nervous, Fusion. You've, you've got yourself into a bit of a groove now. DePaulo, take care, man. Thank you for the, thank you for the like, and have a good day at work. No worries, Fusion. Keep it shorter then if, if you're struggling with it. That would be my advice. Take care, man. We'll see you shortly, mate. There we go. We have got tomatoes going again. We might as well top the water up, get everything done while we're here. I do believe we should also have... Uh, well, there's not much water left in this. We'll fill that up. Be a big chunk. Um, oof, twenty-three thousand liters of uh, a fertilizer to sell there as well. We should sell that. That'll bring in a bit of money. The doors on the back of this are fab, aren't they?
How are we doing for uh, volume of stuff in here as well? We're out. Oh, that's liquid. I can never tell from that. It's better if we go and look up here. Uh, oh, it's not in here. Oh, oh, oh no, there is. Fertilizer production. Open over your menu. Easy fertilizer. Yeah, I need some more digester at some point. Well, this will make us a pretty penny as well. There's a lot in here. We should probably keep some, but by the time we've sold this and. A lot easier in this truck, I tell you. Why did not I think of this before? Twenty-three thousand. This should come in. If you had a chance to change it, would change the farming game. Quite sure what you mean there, Alvaris. Oh, I'll have loads of digestate. We just need to take the water tank, water stroke milk stroke digestate tanker. In fact, we could run it back now and top it up. In fact, crackies, that is 11 already. We'll sell this. And do you know what? This might be our last act of the. Uh, of the stream. We'll just see what sort of money this is going to throw at us. Quite excited about this. It's going to fairly kick up, hopefully. Fertiliser is a lucrative one. Thirty-eight grand not to be sniffed at that, is it? Superb. Um, yeah, we'll. Um, I'm trying to think where to leave this now. What are we likely to need next? Seed again. Do you know where? We will leave it at the co-op with some seed in it because that's likely to be what the uh, the greenhouse is going to need next. And then we'll go and get in the Mac. And we'll run that down and fill it up with digestate. And it will call it for the night there. So I hope it's been a useful and enjoyable episode. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. I have. But then again, it's uh, Bull's Gap on a Wednesday night, right? It's brilliant fun. What are we going to do on a Wednesday night when uh, FS22's out? We're going to have to find something else to keep us amused, aren't we? Right, this is empty, so we can put whatever we like in it. So I vote digestate. Thank you, Music Man. That is very, very kind of you. Right, let's... Um, actually, we're seeing, we might have a lot of milk. This is a big capacity tank, so... Might be good to sell a bit of milk as well. Before we go back to uh, go back to our seeding, which will probably roll into the next episode now. I am away this weekend as well, actually, so uh, I need to frantically get uh, a Bulls Gap episode edited down before I head away. So uh, I don't think I'll be going to bed just yet. to make sure that that's done. Got to keep, got to keep the punters happy, right? There's the plough as well, sitting waiting to do that cornfield.
best horn in game. It's actually... It's a train horn, isn't it? Some sort of crazy air horn, anyway. Right, before we grab the digestate, we will go and check how much milk we've got. Because we could just sell that as well. Maybe that that would be a worthwhile exercise if there's a decent chunk in there. I know I could just sell it direct, but... Uh, we are playing truck... Ooh, 35. Right, let's see what the milk price is. If the milk price is good, which basically means is it up there... 838 eight. sitting pretty close to the top of the game here. Eh? Should probably sell that. Got to open the doors. A little tanker out. 35, nearly 36,000 litres. Quite excited about that. I want all of it. Eric, he's got his new laptop. Oh, you're going to love that, Eric. That's going to be awesome. Nice one. So, Alex and I fest you away this weekend. Are you guys doing the farm swap? We're not this weekend, but uh, we did. We have talked about it actually. Oh, I'm going to virtually brim this tanker, that's cool. There we go. Let's see how much money we're going to make from this. I'll top it up with a bit of digestate, or is that not acceptable behaviour? Ooh, nearly rolled it. Nearly rolled it. Oats. Remember, we need to buy oats for the horses. I feel there's uh, a decent chunk of money in this. Hopefully, enough to push us over two hundred thousand. And that is a good. That's a good. Uh, good day's work, right? How dirty this truck is. I will wash this truck one day. <laughs> Bit of kamikaze. It was, I did stop. Just very quickly. Blinked. Blink and you miss it. Big old farm there. I've never even been on that farm on this map. It's actually where you're supposed to have a farm, not where I've put mine. Right. Barely fit this in here. There we go. Have a tight turn. Sell the milk. Look at that ticking up. That is fast. Very nice. Thirty thousand bucks there of milk. Not bad at all. We'll just uh, get this reversed up to the back of the uh, BGA, get it full of digestate for the next episode. And uh, I don't think we'll call it there. <laughs> Didn't roll it this time, going through the turn, get up onto two wheels. Realise this has got a uh, a German number plate, and it doesn't get muddy. 
Maybe it does if you drive into a field. around here. Oops. Thank you, Cranky. I appreciate it, mate. It's been uh, it's been a fun one actually. I'm glad we swapped that track. Definitely glad we swapped that track to though. That was that was the right thing to do, I think. Two hundred thousand litres of digestate. We'll be having some of that. Making chocolate milk again. So, a few things to do next episode. We've still got the hay bales on the field. We can go and pick those up at some point. Uh, we've got enough silage there. We've got enough stuff to keep us uh, topped up with cow food. Um, things are looking good, guys. Things are looking good. We finally emptied our bales out of here that have sat there for an eternity. We could probably wrap these two as well and get some uh, more silage out of those. Got a new big baler. Four horses. It's all it's all looking rosy. Can we hit a million before FS22 comes out? Wouldn't that be a nice end to the series as FS22 comes out? We can but try we can but try well there you go folks thank you so much it's uh, it's been another cracker i really enjoy these wednesdays and chat to you a lot so uh, appreciate it all and uh, have a good rest of your weeks and i will see you again soon take care bye for now